Okay, what we have here is a model 542 National Cash Register. This is from about 1911. Um, when I purchased this, it was in a large bucket in many, many, many pieces, as you can tell, that I have strung all over my dining room. Uh, it wasn't attached to the base. It, like I said, it was all in pieces. But what I found as I tried to put this thing together was no information on the internet. So although I have done a lot of work thus far and at least did get it mounted back on its base, like I said, this was total pieces. Uh, I thought bright idea since there's no information hardly on the internet that I would try to help the next person and show my progress as I go along. Um, there are several things I have already done to this. I know this isn't a very good example picture but as we go along I'll do some more videos and show my progress. This is the back view. Here's the printer. Um, I have the side plate on at the moment. I'm trying to get that to work again. Uh, over here is, I believe, the adder detail. But my problem was trying to find any information, especially on the inside mechanics. This is a gear driven. There's no motor. It's all cranked by hand. Uh, the pieces, brass pieces, these were originally nickel plated after they were all taken down. What I found is some of it is red brass and some of it is yellow brass. The majority does look like it's red brass and I polished it by hand and what you can tell the difference just in those two pieces. But, and then this, of course, there's the red brass and the yellow brass difference. The backs of these, this is pretty much what the fronts looked like whenever I originally got it. So you can see they've come a long way. They still have a long way to go, but I'll get there eventually. Just learning trial by error on my own. Um, I'll post some more videos as I go along, and like I said, hopefully this will help the next person. One thing I do want to point out is if you do take these apart, I wish I'd have started this months ago when I started trying to refurbish this, is you have to be careful. There's different models have are set up differently but the main thing is watching your two arms whenever you take it off this base as you can see this arm right here broke off and it's now a big gob of JB Weld on it I know it's not going to hold very long but I'm not trying to make this a completely restored, but just trying to make sure it operates for now. Uh, so just be careful whenever you take these off and the base and disassemble it correctly before you run into what I did and break pieces off. So for now, I'm going to shut this off and watch subscribe to my feed if you'd like to learn more about these they're pretty amazing one thing i do want to tell that this here was a uh, 
It come from St. Joseph, Missouri, the original. If you look on your printer feed over here, you will find, hopefully, at least I did, uh, the company name stamp. The impressions are still on the rollers. Uh, I don't think I can even show you right at the moment, but later on I'll show you how you can tell the history on it, at least way back whenever it was being in 100% use. It is pretty interesting if you like all these old antiques, but again, I'll have plenty more as I go along. So I'm going to sign off for now and... Like I said, go ahead and subscribe to my feed and you can watch as I put this back together and hopefully, like I said, I help somebody else. So, signing off.